Your Norlake walk-in was quality engineered and produced under rigid factory controls. It features the latest in manufacturing technology plus innovative design techniques that will provide the ultimate in user convenience. Please read all sections of your installation maintenance manual for a better understanding of your walk-in. It will assist you in obtaining the performance that you can expect from your Norlake walk-in. The sweep gasket was factory installed and tested for proper operation before shipment. It features a unique cross-section design to not only seal the gap between the bottom of the walk-in door and threshold or building floor, but its offset configuration closes an opening that is normally created at both ends of a conventional sweep gasket. It is attached to the lower edge of the walk-in door assembly with a three-quarter inch pan head sheet metal screw and flat washers. With the door completely closed, the proper distance between the bottom of the rigid attachment area of the sweep gasket and the threshold or building floor must be one half inch. If this dimension is less than one half inch, the sweep gasket will wear prematurely and will produce excess friction for the door closer to act against during the door closing sequence. If this dimension is greater than one half inch, the lower lip will not contact the threshold or building floor and the seal will be compromised permitting air infiltration to occur into this area. Measure both ends of the sweep gasket with the door closed and adjust until exactly one half inch is attained. The door gasket will become compressed and more rigid over time. As it ages, it may create gaps for air infiltration into the walk-in cooler or freezer. To save on energy costs and eliminate infiltration of moist air into the walk-in, the door gasket should be inspected and replaced as recommended. The door gasket should be inspected every six months for proper sealing with the door frame to ensure that there are no gaps or cracks in the gasket. Recommended replacement should be done as needed or approximately every three years of regular usage. Refer to the installation and operation manual for replacement instructions. Norlake walk-in doors are engineered with an adjustable hinge. The adjustable hinge provides the ability to square the door within the door jam. Please note, walk-ins older than 2005 will not have this adjustment built into the door. Open the door and you will find a small chrome plug button on the edge of the door behind the upper hinge. Before any adjustment, you must first slightly loosen the screws on the hinge strap on the door approximately two turns. Loosen additional screws on other hinge straps on the door approximately one turn. Then pop off the chrome plug button. Now you can access the adjustment screw. You should only make minor adjustments and then close the door to view if the adjustment rectified the situation. When adjustment is complete, replace the chrome plug and retighten the screws on the hinge straps. Note, on doors with a center third hinge, the second hinge is also adjustable. You will need to loosen the screws on both the top and center hinges and make minor adjustments in both areas. The door closer was factory installed and tested for proper operation before shipment. This small but powerful device provides smooth and positive closing with only a minimum of attention. Because no lubrication of any kind is required, it is recommended that at least once each month the relationship of the hook and the roller to each other be examined. Caution, do not attempt to bend the hook as a means of adjustment. The hook is formed and tempered to resist deformation during normal use. If the roller is too low, Loosen all hook bracket screws and add flat washers between the bracket and the header where the top two screws will keep them in place. Tighten the screws and check the hook position. Where the roller is too high, loosen all hook bracket screws and add flat washers between the bracket and the header where the bottom two screws will keep them in place. Tighten the screws and check the hook position. If, for any reason, the roller arm is accidentally bumped into a vertical position while the door is open, it must be manually moved to the horizontal position before the door is closed. Failure to do so may cause serious damage to the door and or the door closer.
Every Norlake walk-in comes with a thermometer factory mounted on each door section. For optimum accuracy, the sensing bulb must be exposed to the air that is being monitored. Make certain that the sensing bulb is not positioned near an interior light or any other heat producing device, nor should it be located where stored products shield the sensing bulb from the circulating air pattern within the walk-in. The long sensing lead is more than adequate to provide ideal sensing bulb placement on the inside surface of the door section or an adjacent wall or corner panel. When the location is finalized, an adhesive back plastic clip is used to secure the sensing bulb to that surface. When servicing any refrigeration system or performing any maintenance procedures, always disconnect the main power supply. The condensing unit, condensate vaporizer, and the control box on low temperature models are all accessible by removing the grills or louvers on the condensing unit housing. The evaporator coil section is accessible by unlatching and removing the evaporator section housing cover. The efficiency of the condensing unit to a great extent depends upon the movement of air freely through the condenser. For this reason, the condensing unit should be as clean as possible at all times and should always have an unrestricted supply of air. Cleaning the condenser should be done at a minimum of every three months. A stiff bristle brush should be used to loosen the accumulation of dust and dirt particles that have attached to the fins of the condenser. Once this is accomplished, a vacuum cleaner can be used to remove the loosened particles. A brush attachment can also be used to vacuum any remaining dust from the fins of the condenser, being careful not to damage the fins. Your walk-in should be clean on a regular basis, especially the front and interior of the walk-in. Warm, soapy water is recommended for cleaning your walk-in. Other cleaners may harm the finish of your walk-in and are not recommended. It is important that you remove all excess soap and dry the surface thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the care of your Norlake walk-in. Proper maintenance and cleaning will prolong the life of your walk-in and increase its operating efficiency.